Hey guys, Tony Smith with Denison Yachting. and today I'm here with... Jono Fleming. Good, good afternoon. Excellent. What are we on today? We are on a Delta Power Boat 88 Carbon. This boat Delta is 100% carbon fiber. Excellent. It's a, it's a pretty special vessel. Very cool. I'm going to flip the camera around where we take a quick tour. Okay, so Jono, we're here on the uh, cockpit area of the boat. Can you uh, describe uh, kind of the background of this boat yeah, and absolutely. its history? This boat was built in 2014. It's a Swedish company, which is uh, why you get that perfect blend of form and function, that axe bow you see from the outside shelves. Very Scandinavian feel to the boat. Mm -hmm. Upstairs here, they went for a very open layout. Lots and lots of windows, lots and lots of natural light. Up on the bow, you have that reverse Portuguese style windows that face forward. That gives you a lot more interior room as well as visibility when you're driving. Okay. And you've also got a sunroof that opens up. So yeah, it's so indoor outdoor flow. The doors open at the back. All the furniture seems in really good condition, and I do see that kind of like Scandinavian design and colors, and just you know the brightness of everything. Exactly. Okay, so we have our galley up on the starboard side here. Moving forward, yeah, galley on the starboard side, seating on the on the port side here, okay. and then your drive station all the way forward. Okay, so helm here, and then this has the. Volvo IPS, three IPS. Three IPS 800s. So you've got the joystick system with uh, four stations on the boat, as well as a remote. So you've got plenty of spaces to drive from, especially if you're shorthanded on crew or, or even by yourself, you're able to walk around the boat with a remote and, and tie lines and move flinders and everything else. And that Volvo system is a very efficient drive system and combined with the weight savings of the carbon fiber, this is a 37 knot boat full speed and at 30 knot cruise you're only burning 80 gallons which is about 50 percent less than anyone else in class okay so very very efficient you also have the bow thruster here as well so you're able to drive the boat with the joystick with the ips have the bow thruster to knock the bow over Absolutely. and then this is a stabilized boat with sea keeper yeah, as well it's got a sea keeper as well so it's nice and steady it's got the speed when you need it but it's also because of this drive system if you want to slow down and do a, a, a you know thousand or two thousand mile run it's capable of doing that as well. okay so a gyro stabilizer and then you pointed out this has the forward facing windows so we get really great visibility here so you were saying a lot of these boats they have owner operators they do they okay do. people like to run them themselves even if they have crews we tend to find the owners like to work the joystick themselves because it's like a little video game Excellent. So we've got two watertight doors on either side. And then let's go ahead and take a quick look at the guest accommodation. We have three cabins, correct? We have four cabins on here. Four cabins, okay. Come on down. So we'll go all the way forward first. On the starboard side, you have a little day head slash laundry room. Okay, so a day head and laundry center here on the starboard side. Nice use of space. This is your VIP, which is a nice big space. It's not quite a second master, but it's not far off. Sure. No, that's great. Huge TV there. Nice light colors and modern ensuite. So with these boats, notice all the teak, notice all the woodwork, notice mm -hmm. all the stainless. We do everything in house. We don't let a single subcontractor to touch our boats. That's the difference. All the electrical, plumbing, teak, woodwork, upholstery, stainless, everything is done by us. Everything by the and factory. That's how we keep that, okay. That yeah, and we were saying actually for a 2014 boat, this actually looks really good. All the all the teak and woodwork just looks awesome. So I'm super impressed. Okay, so next we have two matching double cabins with uh, Pullmans. Two twins with Pullman, yes. So okay. starboard and port both match, and you do have the option of having the third Pullman in place. So it can actually sleep 10 guests, which makes it a great option for charter. That's awesome. So this is the Pullman. That means that it'll fold up and down to get out of the way exactly. when you don't want it. And then all of these have their own ensuite as well, right? Yes. Okay. So this is the starboard side and really good quality here with the... Uh, Nice detail on the stonework and everything. I love it. So over on the port, this is basically a mirror. Is that correct? Correct. Awesome. Again, really, really nice woodwork throughout. And then all these shades come up and down. So you have plenty of natural light. So really very spacious. And then we head back here. And now since the boat has the IPS integrated propulsion system, 
that allows you to push the bulkhead further back so you really get a lot more that's exactly use right. out of the boat right that's exactly right so you got a nice full full beam master mm -hmm. the aft end of the boat as well and the insulation because these boats are carbon fiber they do go the extra mile mm -hmm. make sure insulation is very very good one for water noise and also the thing here in the engine room is a very quiet boat when you're underway that's awesome uh, show me what we've got going on here i love it aft and, and forward facing television so you can watch it in bed or while you're in the seating area that's incredible. So we were saying before, sometimes when you get a pivoting TV, that could be a, a, a liability. This, they've taken care of that just by having two mirroring the, TVs. The TVs, one facing forward, one facing aft. Great. And I see a Ray Marine there, so you can actually monitor the ship exactly. system. Exactly. Again, if you're an owner operator and you're on anchor or something like that, you can, you can keep an eye on all your controls up there. Great. So this has basically a salon a vanity that could be used as a desk it if is. you want it for a work teak, area. Teak or corian. A lot of, there's a lot of corian in the boat as well, with the countertops. Okay. Um, and then the, the paneling is, is wood or, or, or some fabric for the nice light color. Great. But yeah, the idea was to keep the boat very light with the carpet, the, the staining yeah. on the teak, everything. And all the carpet is in great shape. Absolutely. So here is the master head. So they've got his and hers sinks. Nice big shower with a large rain fixture there. Again, nice, really integrated stonework. I love the design on the sinks. And, and the enclosed head is nice as well. Fully enclosed head there. Very nice. Is this transparent if you want it to be? This no, it, it, no. It, it okay. lights up, but it's not. It transparent. lights up, okay. That is neat. And then you get a little fridge down here. Okay, <laughs> it's like a little hotel suite. That's exactly right. That is awesome. Let's take a quick look uh, up at maybe the, the fly bridge. Okay. And then we can hit the uh, bow and look at that lounge area. And then we will see the uh, mechanical area after that. Okay. You got a nice big update. These chairs go out and so you can sleep. Sorry, seat eight people quite comfortably around the back here. Okay. You also have an awning over here that comes up and covers this whole area. So, so overhead awning, good. wet bar on the starboard side. This looks, is this a high-low table here? It is. It goes okay, so that could be a coffee table if you want or dining. And then this is the uh, awning here that retracts out for some sun big. protection. Okay, and very cool. Drive stations as well. Great, great. Okay, so uh, yeah, so on port and starboard, we've got the docking stations here for the Volvo IPS. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and look up here at the flybridge. You see the homage to the carbon fiber, a little bit of tread. Oh yeah, yeah, carbon fiber on the treads. And then this is a hatch that will slide shut so you don't get any rain down below. Yes. Okay, so you were saying before that obviously this is a very fast boat and as part of that, they incorporated this U-shaped settee here. So you can actually be running at speed without getting like too exactly. much just overwhelming, so right? They actually make it facing aft and they drop it down steep. So it's actually below the, the windshield line. Okay, so, so when this is cruising fast, cruising, a lot of the air will just go over yeah, this area. Yeah, having a fully enclosed space where you lose that feeling that you're on a yacht. You okay. can be lower, you can sit down, you can enjoy a drink without feeling Nice. And then this here is a bimini system that will lift up and cover the whole area if you want. And again, that's all electronic and hydraulic. So okay. So upper helm again with the uh, joystick here and the Volvo IPS. That's great. Okay. That's nice to have the three Ray Marines there, Volvo displays. And this one has a joystick, I believe it's right there. Okay, right. great. And then remind me, what, what are the hours on the boat? You're 1300, uh, 1100, sorry, on the main engine. 1100 on the main 1400 and 1400 on the generators. 14 generators. on the generators, two They're generators. All about the same. 1400, 1400, 1100, 1100. Okay, and it looks like, do you have uh, like satellite TV up there with that radar? Yes, I believe it's the radar. Okay, great, nice. And then you can see the woodwork there. Yeah, very nice woodwork. Fridge, ice maker, wet bar. And then this area over here, this can be used for uh, like some floating furniture or you have cushions as well? 
So that comes with cushions. They have cushions that cover this whole area. Okay. Um, on some of the newer ones, I believe they have four nice teak chairs, so people yeah. can be back here. Well, it's you great to be able to... And then people can come back here Sunday to cheese. It's nice to be able to have the option of either having the chairs or the cushions. A lot of times people just have fixed cushions and maybe you'd rather be dining here or like hanging out, so... Awesome. All right, let's take a quick peek in the garage and the swim platform, and then we'll head up front and then hit the engine. Yeah, that's a high-low table. Okay. It's got the nice fabric. Nice upholstery. Now this right here, you'll see the cut here in the fiberglass. You've got a passerelle that comes out the back here. Okay, so it has so, a passerelle gangway for exactly, boarding. which doesn't get used a lot on this side of the world, but for mid mooring in the in, yep. in the Mediterranean. Or, St. Bart's. We have one of these ones that goes down to St. Bart's every year, so they use that okay. quite a lot. And often here you have a, a 12, a 385, a 13-foot Williams jet tender that fits perfectly in here. There's a roller system, so that thing slides back. That's uh, great. Winch and slides right off the aft deck. So this actually has a water jet, and why people like that is it doesn't have as much draft, and then you're able to easily put it in the garage here. Correct. So that's awesome. Correct. And then also, you were saying this is a transformer. What does that mean? So right where your feet are, this middle part here, this whole thing lifts up. Okay. And comes over and drops We'll down actually deploy the out there in the water. So when you're in the water, you can have it sort of ankle deep or waist deep and hang out on it. Or some people for mid mooring or on floating docks will actually put it back here, put it closer to the dock and use this as a gangway. Oh, okay. So you can board directly from the transformer Correct. platform. Correct. So you've got a couple of Nice, nice. So this is really cool here. All right, so let's uh, shoot up to the bow. Really great stainless steel work throughout the boat. Nice and sturdy rails here to go up to the flybridge. Yeah, you've got nice high sides. You know, a lot of boats have a small gel coat yeah. and then a lot of stainless. You don't feel like you need to hold on to anything. And I didn't notice this is a boarding door here. So if you do need to board from the side, that's a really nice option as well. And very safe for kids running around the boat when yeah. they're underway. What's, what's under here? Is this fender storage? This is uh, fender storage. Here. Oh, that's massive. A lot of storage on this boat. Everywhere wow. you look, there's big storage compartments. Great. So port and starboard storage. Another high-low table with the U-shaped settee there. Some day beds here. So you got, uh, you got seating there, and then this is a big day bed as well. And you do have the ability to cover both of these areas with, with sunshades to shade out this whole area. That's awesome. Uh, so anchor, shades go there, carbon fiber poles go in here and then out. So this whole uh, area up on the uh, bow of the boat exactly. is all protected. That's your skylight down to the, uh, the VIP cabin. Okay, there. VIP and skylight. And then this gives you an idea of just how deep the, uh, the V is on this boat. Just acres of space. So this is really amazing. So this is a whole utility room up front. I see you get a nice uh, float there to float on the it water. Is. It's a good place for tools. The water maker is stored down here. Okay. Some of them have dive compressors down here. Also, you, you saw the sideboarding gates. The, the sideboarding ladders can, can fit down here quite easily. Nice. It's easily, what, 10, 12 feet standing yeah. down there. So. That's amazing. So, you know, normally you would think that would be crew quarters, but this has totally separate crew quarters on it. Some really nice uh, seating here. You do a kind of a dolphin chaser. And then you got a nice ax bow, just a really awesome boat. Okay, cool. Let us cruise to the next stop. Okay. A little bit tight. There's a few ways to get downstairs, okay. but we'll go this way. So watertight door here, and then nice rails for the crew to hang on to. Okay, so down here in the crew quarters, uh, there's actually two cabins. So we've got uh, bunk beds in this one. And then we've got a single over here. This one could actually add another bunk if you wanted, but it's set up for a crew of three right now. And they have not really a crew mess, but a little <laughs> a little galley exactly. back here as well. Exactly, yeah, they got a little galley microwave. It's a microwave sink. Some extra freezer down here for, for some extra freezer stuff. When Perfect. The and okay. then if you see through there, you can probably see the back side of that pass through to the master stateroom as well. Oh, this this is the pass through there. Okay, and that serves as an emergency escape uh, for this space as well. Yeah. Very nice, excellent. Okay, cool. And then obviously we've got uh, the the head here with a nice uh, dedicated shower stall. So the crew is actually can be very very comfortable on this. Yes. 
And then this is the direct access in. This area here with the drop down, that is for our tender garage. And I like it because it's entirely waterproof there. And then here we have these beautiful Volvo IPSs. And I gotta tell you, I'm like blown away with the condition of this engine room. Everything is nice. You can see the uh, oil, it's late. All the filters are nicely labeled. You can walk around these motors and really get some great service down in this area. Yeah, when you get a boat in the 2014, 2015 range, it comes down the crew. Yeah. Ross has been with the boat since 2018, so five years. Okay. He's a very hands-on guy. He does all the engineering himself. That's awesome. Very few things are done other than, you know, thousand hour services yeah. and stuff like that. And this yeah, has like yeah. some super yacht quality, even like looking at the cable yacht or the cable tray and other stuff. This Absolutely. feels like a yacht Absolutely. more than a boat. It feels solid, doesn't it? It's nice. Okay, and then down in the center here, you mind popping that up for me real quick? So down in the center here, we have a gyro stabilizer. So there's a Sea Keeper gyro stabilizer. And so what that does is that'll keep the boat from rocking around and going side to side. Exactly. So the boat really does incorporate a lot of awesome technology, not only from the carbon fiber core and structure to keep it lightweight, it's got the Volvo IPS, so it's super efficient, forward facing counter rotating propellers. We've got a joystick, we've got Sea Keeper. Exactly. Like this it's very, is very freaking awesome. It's, it's a great boat. <laughs> and it's much more efficient than anything else in its you class. Know, you know what I say, the Swedish design is form and function. Everything you didn't realize you needed and nothing you don't need. Very simple, very straightforward, very elegant. But behind it is a, is a real yacht. It's awesome. Real, real power. On behalf of myself, Tony, with Denison Yachting. And John O'Fleming from Delta Power Boats Americas. Thank you so much for checking out this 88 that is available here. And we'll have Jono's information down below for my VIP clients. Feel free to reach out directly to me. And uh, if you want a new or brokerage boat, we can help you out. We can do that. Awesome. Do that. Thanks again. For additional information, please feel free to email me at ts at flyachtpro.com. Also, please feel free to text me at 404-805-9819.